Today is probably the coldest day out of all these recent days. I thought the guy said there was no... So basically this is from a company called Blastin... Blastin Bob. I don't know why he gave me all this. I think his website said... <laughs> no... No tips. Ah, that's what it is. It's a transition. See, the pipes in my car are two and three quarters. And the whole point of getting these, wow, because these are three inch, three inch in diameter. And they are shaped exactly like the, like the um, factory pipes except that they're bigger and so you need this in order to you know transition to two and three quarters and so now this we're gonna replace this you know one two what like I'm guessing three feet of the factory pipes two and three quarters with this three inch pipes All right I think it's gonna look like this the guy not to weld them on because we'll need to uh, we'll need to cut off the, the end because what this is actually is designed for this is designed for um, resonator delete you know this is for people that want to get rid of the resonators in the back but I don't want to do that because that would be too, too loud Right, and so I asked the guy, I said, don't, don't attach these because we might need to cut the end of the pipe. And uh, because tomorrow I won't be able to show you this, right? But that's what it's going to be. It's going to be, it's going to look like this. So there's a transition and then it's going to hook up, the engine is here and then these will be like this, you know? See, that's what I should, that's what I should end up with. Yeah, transition, transition. I just need to figure out, like the guy says, you know, I asked him, I said, which way is the in? And he said, look for the side where it looks like a mushroom because they're not exactly the same see over here you know it's different than here and I wonder I wish they would have put in some signs in there like indicators you know in out but there's nothing but the guy on the phone said this that yeah it should be basically like this and so I don't know I hope it's gonna work I think we'll have to 
cut off this and then I'm my plan is to uh, reuse uh, the tips that I have now we're gonna reuse the tips and we're gonna weld them and you see this is also three inch three inch in diameter and this is three inch and then from here it'll be two and three quarters and so uh, in my in my experience with this whenever you change the diameter of the pipe like this it's gonna improve even like it's only three feet right but it's gonna improve uh, the performance and plus these mufflers are you know these are like re real racing mufflers I never had anything like this and I went specifically to my car to get it for you guys to show you because this is what I'm going I'm, I'm doing tomorrow right tomorrow we're gonna be kind of like changing the uh, the rear part of the exhaust all right so the factory exhaust is taken off right and we kept the active exhaust you see that's what it looks like there's that little thing inside so it only activates when you're like somewhere racing and stuff like that and those are the factory ones right two and three quarters and we're putting this stuff in All done? Yeah, I got him as close as I could, but like looking at this one, it's just... No, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I might just keep them like that, you know? Yeah, like I said, you go, like Canadian tire sells, like if you want a, a piece of chrome. Oh, like just like three inch in? Yeah, a little, just screw on tip. Okay. And they're like 15 or 20 bucks a piece, so like they're pretty cheap. Yeah, that's pretty good. So these are blasting bob pipes and these are the Flowmaster uh, racing mufflers. Okay Mike, thanks very much. Yeah, no problem. Alright, so it's done. So first we're gonna do we're gonna do the outside sound because the car is now warmed up right because it was inside the shop. So I'm gonna put this uh, GoPro on the back on the back of the car and then we're gonna drive and I'll show you guys how it sounds when I'm driving so it's the, the GoPro is in the middle right above the license plate Canadian. So $100 Canadian 
is seventy dollars US. So seventy and seventy one forty, and then forty. So basically one hundred seventy five bucks. And the pipes were one hundred sixty nine dollars. That the uh, Pipes were 169 US. And just as my luck would have it, there's a, there's a bus. So we're doing 30 kilometers an hour. Come on! Over there it's a bit, it's moving a little bit because I don't have any attachments right now. So the pipes, the blasting Bob resonated delete kit was 169 but I paid a bunch of money for two day FedEx uh, shipping because I wanted to do it now before I leave on a, on a trip. And the mufflers were, I think, the mufflers were not too expensive. I think the mufflers were like 95 bucks US each. And shipment was free because I got them from Amazon Canada, not Amazon US. But yeah, the Blasting Bob, I bought it directly from blastingbob.com. And I think they are. that spin tech on a uh, Dodge Ram I think yeah Dodge Ram 5.7 
deserted city streets. I don't want to park this car. And this muffler, so I double checked with uh, with Flowmaster there in the Pacific Standard Time and they open at 7.30 so I call them at 9.30 my time just to double check and they confirm that uh, that dome should be facing the engine you know like in the muffler right because there's no indicators but they said yeah the dome the dome the mushroom side faces the engine the other side faces the rear and as you saw the guy just I asked him to attach a regular pipe it's the same pipe he took off on the other end of this blasting bob uh, pipes because of course they were too long right because we're attaching the we're attaching the the mufflers and ask him to do that and it doesn't look as fancy as before but now it's you know I think the performance is better the sound is better and then he says you can always go to like Canadian tire like any auto parts store and just buy some chrome you know tip just as long as it's uh, three inch it has three inch on one side like it's designed to fit a three inch exhaust there's like a big hole in there right there's a big opening and some people might not like it but I don't know for now I'll just maybe leave it like this but when I have more time I'll go uh, to the Canadian Tire here in Cambridge and uh, see what they have there for but it's it's very easy right because I have one I have one pipe right and I just want to add either a single or dual um, tip so I'm at the lights over here trying to turn towards uh, Starbucks so yeah I've been looking for loads for my semi truck didn't see much one lady wanted me to drive one hour to Toronto pick up a load in this frigid weather and then drive four hours north where if it's minus 19 over here over there it's probably minus 30 uh, minus 40 I don't know minus 40 Celsius is the same as minus 40 Fahrenheit and so drive four hours up there unload again in this weather and then drive four hours back of course because there's no loads under there four hours back to Toronto and, and then one hour west to my yard right so one plus four plus four plus one plus loading and unloading and I said so um, so what are you offering for this and she says oh I got it covered the price was uh, 900 US And this, you know, like you guys know, right? I don't like talking about rates, but I love talking about cheap rates because this is what I deal with all the time. And basically, when she told me that, I just I did not know like whether to laugh or cry because people has people have no people have no um, concept. You know, like I pay five grand. Uh, what is this? Like forty nine hundred Canadian for the truck three grand Canadian for the trailer insurance is a couple of thousand bucks it's it's an expensive hobby let's call it that right because they say it's not work when you're having fun so I do have fun with this but you know I need to make money uh, but anyway so this I love doing this and some guys are, again we're leaving some nasty comments it's probably you know those I don't know 70 year old guys that never modify the car like first of all if you're not into performance and cars and unless you're legally blind like that's why we use what this what is known titles t-i-t-l-e title and it's usually it's in black and white right under the window or above the thumbnail right and you read that title t-i-t-l-e and what that title does it tells you what the video is going to be about right sometimes they say like free sex cheap beer 
where the video is actually about construction in Siberia so some people do that I don't uh, like these you know bait click click baits they call them right uh, so if it's about a car I like mods on my challenger I put it in the title right so again look for those black little letters uh, near the thumbnail if you see something like it says Dodge Challenger 392 RT scat back mods something like that and you're driving a rust bucket Honda or Toyota or 1970 Dodge Ram truck uh, like no big deal right you just you're not into this stuff like everybody's different right just don't watch it find something else to watch you know maybe you want to watch how to uh, cut your nails you know or how to uh, fold paper for an envelope all people are different so don't tell me what I, I can I cannot do it's my channel and by the way I just wanted to remind everybody again that the name of the channel is Sergei Drachev it's not Sergei Drachev trucking it's not Sergei Drachev performance muscle cars it's just my name so it's my personal channel I do what I like okay so and the only way if you subscribe to my channel the way to differentiate the videos is to use this wicked system of titles right because I put some I usually put some thought into how to call a video and uh, the goal behind coming up with a title is to of course attract interest but I don't want to attract people that have no I, no interest in the topic right so I want to be straightforward but just attract the right audience right and so again uh, look for the title if it's not something you enjoy don't watch it but don't complain that it's not about trucking or let's get in the truck and start hauling, you know, because that's that's not gonna happen. So for now, like I mentioned before, so the, the two major, actually, yeah, not even three, but no, maybe three. Three major topics are trucking. Second major topic is performance muscle cars. And yes, I'm driving this in Canada in winter, but it's not a daily driver. It's a fun vehicle that I'm driving when I'm having fun outside of the truck, right? And third topic is photography video, but that usually happens when I go somewhere like Chicago or I don't know, New York City, and I just walk around with my camera and you know, I just do like a city kind of like city guide but I sold my expensive camera because it was just sitting sitting in my backpack and it's heavy and it's expensive and all those lenses so now I just have a Canon cheap Canon T7i with a couple of lenses and everything now is geared towards video right with occasional photography and so I think next time when I'm somewhere like in New York City or or um, or Chicago or Baltimore or something and I want to go and do a kind of like a tour around the city I'll just instead of pictures I'll just use mostly video right is by the book the rules say you are um, the rules say that you must have mufflers and I do have mufflers I just have performance mufflers you know so anyway so this is it for now maybe later I I cannot think of anything else I love this car the way it is uh, I'm not gonna install a supercharger something crazy like that because this one already has 40 485 horsepower which is perfect the wheels are perfect 20 inch wheels I like the rims I like the tires I like the transmission 
Oh, actually, one thing I was thinking about I might change in the future is um, is the uh, audio system because this one has a basic audio system with no subwoofer, you know, and there was a premium option. I think it was like four hundred dollars more or five hundred dollars more, like on a brand new car. On a brand new car, sorry, there's a sound right there. On a brand new car, you can do that. You know, let's say if you're specking this car from the factory, you can indicate that you want that option, and then they give you nine speakers and a subwoofer, which goes in the trunk. Uh, I think it goes under the floor where right now I have the battery, because on this car it's kind of weird that the battery is in the trunk under the floor, which I think actually is pretty smart because it it stays warmer, you know, in winter. Um, and so yeah speaking about winter so yeah I'm, I'm I might do that later I don't know how difficult it is to uh, upgrade it but I'm um, you know maybe in the spring or in the summer I'm gonna talk to the dealer and see what they what they say like how bad is it how expensive is it just to um, I guess maybe to add a sub and a couple of more speakers I don't know, is it possible I have no idea but everything else is cool you know climate control sport you know super track pack you see so basically um, when it gets warm uh, the plan is to find uh, find a racing track somewhere you know and see what this baby can do on a on a legal racing track go through some training put on that weird looking helmet you know hot hat <laughs> and just drive around Oh, we, I think we have like an accident over there or something. No? Yeah, it's pretty cold today. Uh, but the traffic keeps like, looks like everything is moving like it's dry. Like there's no snow, everything is old. But it's very, very, very cold. So uh, the good news is that they said today's Thursday they said closer to the weekend it's gonna be uh, warmer so all this stuff is gonna melt you know <laughs> and so this was the probably last major upgrade to this car like again the XL ratio is great 373 effective right the manual transmission like if you remember on the Mustang right that's why um, I changed the XL ratio because it was way too fast but this one, I think it's perfect, you know, because it's a very powerful car. Um, basically, that's why it's called RT Race Track, right? It's ready for a track, but it's not like a Hellcat or anything, right? Otherwise, I, I wouldn't even want that because then your, your your gas mileage just goes down, you know, very drastically. Like I wouldn't want to drive a thousand horsepower car. Uh, because I still use it, right? I'm not just using it for racing. I never even raced on this. First of all, I have to wait till I have, I think, like 1,500 miles on it. Right now I have, uh, hold on, what do I have now? 1,281 kilometers. You see that? 1,281. So that's about, that's about, well, 600 miles is about 1,000 kilometers, so 380, so pretty much like 800 miles, that's what I have. So hopefully by the end of the cold season, I'll have enough miles so I can use this car on a track. And yeah, that's the kind of videos you can look forward to if you're into this kind of thing. So we're going to do more, you know, more like racing stuff. Nothing crazy, I just want to see, I never drove on a track, I just want to see what it feels like to do 300 kilometers an hour. Like, why not, right? Like, by the way, check this out, you see the speedometer? <laughs> Three, zero, zero, that's kilometers, right? So I think in, in US, uh, what is that, like 180 miles? That's what it's, you know, usually there is a correlation, right? There is some kind of a relationship between the maximum speed on your on your speedometer and what the car can do but I'm not sure it can do 300 kilometers an hour but you know I never even drove like 200 I don't know or 250 that would be really cool so I'm looking forward to that but first of course I know they when you go to a racing track you know they they take you through this training like 
an hour or so training and then they they send you off with an instructor who sits over here and tells you what to do right and then eventually they let you go free and you do it yourself so basically it's a serious thing but again it's all legal you know uh, i don't believe into this dangerous practice of you know street racing and plus in canada it's very dangerous in terms of um like my work right i cannot afford to lose my license but we have a law was was created against street racers so if the speed limit if you break the speed limit by more than 50 kilometers an hour or 40 miles per hour i think then you lose your car you lose your license there's a big fine it's like real serious stuff you know thanks for watching